Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Perfect Edition Comics. I'm your host, Perfect. Today, we're going to take a look at my top picks for new releases for September 2020. Let's do this thing. First up, let's take a look at Marvel. So we've got the J. Michael Straczynski Omnibus Volume 2 coming out. This covers a lot of stuff. It covers Amazing Spider-Man 515 to 545, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man 1 to 4 and 24, Marvel Knight Spider-Man 19 to 22, Sensational Spider-Man 41, Spider-Man The Other Sketchbook and Spider-Man One More Day Sketchbook. This comes out around September 2nd. Next, we got Wolverine. This is a reprinting of the first Wolverine omnibus, which includes a long, long list of stuff, which I'll quickly read out to you. Incredible Hulk 180 to 182 and 340, Wolverine 1 to 4, Uncanny X-Men 172, 173, Kitty Pride and Wolverine 1 to 6, Captain America Annual number 8, Spider-Man vs. Wolverine 1, Wolverine 1 to 10, Punisher War Journal 6 to 7, and material from Marvel Comics Presents 1 to 10 and 72 to 84, Marvel Treasury Edition 26, Best of Marvel Comics Hardcover, and the Marvel Age Annual number 4. This also comes out around September the 2nd. I should say we're shipping these days, coronavirus and everything. I generally just take that all these releases are coming September or later, but hopefully in September, and uh, pre-order if you want them. If you haven't, these kind of things like Omnis are going to be pretty hard to find, I imagine, especially uh, hot ones like Wolverine. Next, we got uh, Absolute Carnage Omnibus. This is Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman. Yeah, it includes a lot. I won't read it all now, but it's the Absolute Carnage uh, event, and then uh, Deadpool, Captain Marvel, Mortal Hulk, Symbiote Spider-Man, uh, all the connected Absolute Carnage runs, Miles Morales, Weapon Plus, Scream, uh, Separation Anxiety, and a couple of amazing Spider-Man issues, and then, of course, from the main Venom series, uh, 16 to 20. Next up, we've got uh, X-Men Grand Design Omnibus. This is Ed Piskel's work where he goes through the history of the X-Men with uh, great colors, kind of old-fashioned paper design, things like that. And this actually collects X-Men Grand Design 1 to 2, Second Genesis 1 to 2, and Grand Design Extension 1 to 2. Those are all very, very large kind of treasure edition oversized. This is a standard omnibus size. Next up, a complete collection from Marvel. So this is Old Man Hawkeye, and this is by Ethan Sachs and uh, Marco Cicchetto. Cicchetto, always get that one a little bit wrong. This collects Old Man Hawkeye, the entire series, 1 to 12. Then we have the awesome Daredevil run by Chip Sadarsky. This is the fourth trade paperback. It's also recently been announced that there'll be the first oversized hardcover coming out, which will collect the first 12 issues. But this is the latest uh, collected edition format. This is a trade which collects issues 16 to 20. Then we have a hardcover art portfolio of Stanley Art Germ Lau. So this is a, I believe it's 12 or so, um, full color reproductions of, of kind of his, his most iconic work that he's done for Marvel inside of a hardcover case. So this is really for uh, people that want to collect the art and poster style stuff that comes out in these portfolios so I imagine it's vastly oversized as well. Next up DC Comics. Firstly on in the Omnibus game we've got Paul Dini's Omnibus and this collects uh, a whole bunch of different things from Batman Tales, it collects uh, Detective Comics 821, 824, 826 to 828, 831, 833, 834, 837 to 841, 843 to 850, 852 and 1000. Also Batman 685, Batman Gotham Knights 14, Batman Black and White 3, Batman Black and White 2 number 1, uh, DCU Holiday Special, Batman Streets of Gotham 1 to 4, 7, 10 to 14, 16 to 21, and finally the Batman Annual number 1. So again, a lot of Omnis these days actually follow a creator or a team of creators and so with Paul Dini, you can see it hops kind of all over the place, but tries to cover the majority of his work in the Batman universe. Next Omni, this is a big one. This is the JLA run by Grant Morrison from uh, the mid-90s. This includes also the JLA Earth 2 graphic novel, which has art by Frank Quitely, which is one of my favorite uh, kind of Quitely-Morrison combinations. 
It also collects JLA 1 to 17, 22 to 26, 28 to 31, 34, 36 to 41, JLA 1 million, and JLA Earth 2. Again, this follows a creator being Grant Morrison. So in this Omni, you will see gaps in that primary JLA run where other people were on the book. So if you're a completionist, you might need to fill that in with trades or, or other hardcovers that uh, complete the run for this uh, JLA. Next, No Man's Land Omnibus. This is a long-awaited one, and this one collects a wide variety of things, uh, being Azrael, Agent of the Bat 40 and 47 to 52, Batman 554 to 562, Batman Arkham Asylum, Tales of Madness number one, Batman Blackgate, Isle of Men number one, Batman Huntress Spoiler, Blunt Trauma number one, Batman Shadow of the Bat 73 to 82, Catwoman 56 to 57, Detective Comics 719 to 722 and 724 to 729, Nightwing 19 to 20, Robin 52 to 54, and the Batman Chronicles 12 and 14 to 15. So this comes out around the end of September on the 23rd. Then we have Shazam Deluxe Edition hardcover. So uh, these stories, I forget what they were collected in, but they were collected in uh, the back of a couple of ongoing issues. This is Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. So they're the same people who are currently uh, kind of infamous, I guess, for the somewhat late run on Doomsday Clock. They've also done Batman Earth 1 before. Yeah, Jeff Johns is an epic writer and Gary Frank's art is fantastic and works really well within the superhero genre. So uh, yeah, this collects everything. It's uh, all the background tales. It was in JLA, that's right. Uh, so it collects uh, those pages from Justice League 7 to 11, 0, 14 to 16, and 18 to 21 in a deluxe edition oversized hardcover. Then we have Curse of the White Knight hardcover. This is the follow-up uh, to the White Knight. This is uh, Sean Murphy, and this collects... Batman Curse of the White Knight 1 to 8, and Batman White Knight Presents Von Freeze number 1. Then we have something which I kind of wish I'd waited for, but I went for the hardcovers anyway. This is Fables. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. If you don't know about Fables, this kind of came out early 2000s and ran through probably, I'm not sure until when, but it ran for over a decade long-running series from the old Vertigo imprint with DC. This will probably be printed now as a DC Black Label edition. This is the first compendium volume. So if you haven't bought this now, I guess is the most cost-effective way to buy this. This collects Fables 1 to 41, also Fables The Lost Castle, Fables 1001 Nights of Snowfall, and a short story from Fables Legends in Exile. Then we have um, Hill House Comics who have been producing these mini-series uh, with a real kind of straight-in-your-face horror theme. This is The Low Low Woods, which is one of the ones which has been um, somewhat critically acclaimed and had very good reviews. So this is the first hardcover that comes out for Hill House Comics in September. There's also another one, I think Basketful of Heads, is also getting a hardcover done. This collects uh, the short mini, which is Low Low Woods 1 to 6. Next up, Sandman Trade Paperback Box Set. So this is an expanded volume box set. It collects 14 trade paperbacks. So if you've been holding off on Sandman until now, um, you're not into the ultra deluxe library style editions or Omnis and all the things that have come out over time, and you prefer to read in trade or you just want a more compact collection all in a box set, uh, this is available now. It collects the Sandman volumes one to 10 which collects the original 75 issues of the series, and then next to that expands to uh, another four trades, including extras and, and other things as well. Next up, we have Blackest Night, Brightest Day hardcover box set. So I think a lot of you might have already uh, bought or are thinking of buying the uh, Jeff Johns 3 Omnibus for Green Lantern. This actually takes the core story from there being Blackest Night and expands it to Brightest Day as well, which is the follow-up to that. And this includes 12 brand new hardcovers that collect the entire epic. Of course, included in this, you also get a set of nine plastic rings, which give you all the colors of the, of the core, so you can kind of choose your ring and, and represent your side if that's your thing. Then we have Batman Who Lost Trade Paperback. 
So this collects the Batman who laughs 1 to 7 and the Batman who laughs the Grim Knight number 1. For those of you who are trade waiters and really wanted to read this, now is your chance to pick it up in September. Okay, let's see what Image has for us. First of all, we got the complete collection hardcover of Jeff Lemire's Royal City. This collects Royal City 1 to 14. Then we have the trade paperback version of Volume 2 of Death and Glory. So this is Rick Remender's latest ongoing with Image. I've only heard great things about this. Followed by Monstrous. This is the fifth trade paperback volume. This is also garnering uh, critical acclaim. I've got the hardcover of this waiting for the second hardcover to be honest. But uh, if you want to keep up with it on trades, this collects Monstrous 25 to 30. Then we have The Old Guard. Lots of you have uh, seen this on Netflix recently or in fact read the first trade. This is uh, Greg Rucker. You can't go wrong with Greg Rucker. He's a great, great writer. This collects the second miniseries, The Old Guard Force Multiplied 1 to 5. Then we have Little Bird. This is one of Eisner most recently. Uh, this is the trade paperback version and collects Little Bird 1 to 5. Another Netflix show, Jupiter's Legacy, is coming out. This is a reprint of all four of Jupiter's Circle and Jupiter's Legacy trades. The one uh, series follows the other. It's two sets of trades in each by Mark Miller. Uh, Frank Quitely also does a large amount of the art for this as well. Next up, Dark Horse. So we have talking again, I guess, about Netflix or streaming shows, The Legend of Korra, if you're a fan of the animated series which i know many many people are this follows on from that uh, library edition oversized hardcover that collects the legend of Korra: ruins of the empire part one two and three then we have another library edition oversized hardcover the true lives of the fabulous killjoys california this is gerard way um yeah again this is a oversized library edition so if you're a fan of the fabulous killjoys i would pick this one up then we have black hammer this is the second library edition we did the world of black hammer last month and this month uh, comes out the second of the kind of ongoing series this collects black hammer age of doom 1 to 12 and black hammer Cthulhu louise in a deluxe oversized hardcover format with new cover and sketchbook extras and more. Then we have Hotel Oblivion Deluxe Edition. This is Limited Edition. This is the third hardcover. Uh, also another Netflix show. This is Umbrella Academy. And it collects as well as the hardcover, which is 1 to 7 of Hotel Oblivion. It also includes an expanded sketchbook with commentary, uh, slipcase, and an exclusive print, which only comes with this edition. Then we have something from the Mignola universe or the Mignolaverse with Hellboy and everyone else. This is Sir Edward Grey Witchfinder and this is the sixth trade paperback. This collects the Reign of Darkness 1 to 5 and some bonus material as well. Then we have something uh, which I'm interested in. It's uh, from an Italian creator called Enrico Orlandi. This is the Flower of the Witch. Uh, a couple of people have been watching the channel, have been interested in European comics. Well, Dark Horse does support the kind of European side of things and is releasing this one in English if you're interested. Let's move on to other, which is basically just Boom, IDW, Fantagraphics, Top Shelf, uh, First Second Comics, etc. Where I'll just try and pick the top things from those. The first thing we have is the long-awaited second martini edition, which is a deluxe hardcover, normally comes in a slipcase and is vastly oversized. This is from the now gone Darwin Cook with uh, Ed Brubeck and Sean Phillips as well involved. Um, and this covers the Eisner kind of award-winning martini edition in its collected edition format. It collects the score and sleigh ground, which are, I believe, the sec uh, third and fourth of the Parker uh, series that Cook covered. Then we have Firefly by Joss Whedon. This is a hardcover which collects Firefly, the Outlaw, Mar Reynolds number one, and Firefly 13 to 15. 
So for all of you Firefly fans from the long lost TV show, this is for you. Then we have From Hell by Alan Moore and Eddie Campbell. This is a master edition, uh, fully colored uh, version, which has been bought out by Top Shelf and, and Knockabout in conjunction with Knockabout from the UK as well. Then we have Ragnarok, The Breaking of Helheim. This is the third hardcover by Walter Simonson. Uh, this is kind of his creator-owned Thor, if you want to look at it that way, where he could kind of do things with Thor and, and the mythos around Thor that he couldn't do with Marvel. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in Thor or anything of that kind, I would suggest you take a look at this series. Then we have Displacement from First Second Comics. This is an original graphic novel hardcover, and this uh, follows a more serious tone where it kind of covers a teenager um, that witnesses a grandmother's or talks and witnesses a grandmother's experiences in World War II uh, in a Japanese internment camp. So maybe a bit of a more serious tone, but something that looks pretty interesting from First Second Comics. Then we have two uh, soft cover trade paperback omnibuy. The first one is Irredeemable Omnibus by Mark Wade. Uh, this collects 1 to 37, as well as Irredeemable Special 1 and Incorruptible 25 to 26. And the second omnibus is the sister or the brother to this, which is Incorruptible, which collects Incorruptible issues 1 to 30. Alrighty, let's take a look at manga. This is mostly Viz, Kodansha, and maybe a couple of Dark Horse and other uh, picks that are tossed in here. First up, in the hardcover front, we've got the hardcover omnibus version of Clover, the collector's edition. This is by Clamp, and um, this is a 500-page hardcover manga uh, covering the science fiction work by Clamp, which is a bunch of female manga car uh, who work in a circle, and uh, they produced this a couple of, quite a while ago, I believe. Uh, this is the hardcover reprint of that. Talking about kind of reprints and, and things from back in the day, this is Chobits. This is a 20th anniversary edition. It's also a hardcover. This is volume two of that run. Then the perfect edition pick of the month has to be a perfect edition comic to go with my brand. Got to be true to the brand, you know. This is 20th Century Boys. This is the ninth volume in the perfect edition format. I did do a review of the first volume, so please check that out. I'm currently reading in this format, so I can't wait to pick this one up. Then we have the fan favorite Demon Slayer. This is the 16th volume coming out in September. Followed by another fan favorite, which is Dr. Stone. We had number 12 last month. This is Tunkelbon number 13 coming out in September. Then another fan favorite, because, you know, you've got to go with the fan favorites. This is Beastars, and this is Volume 8. Also follows, follows Volume 7, which came out just last month. Then something that I'm thinking of picking up, but haven't yet taken a look at. This is The Way of the House Husband. I believe this is based on a Yakuza that ends up being a house husband, or Himo in Japanese. Uh, great comedic kind of style going with it, so something that I'm very keen to take a look at. Volume 4 comes out in September. And that's it for this month of September. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing, drop a like, drop a comment with what you're thinking about buying this month. And remember, stay perfect. See ya.